Hi everyone, it's Becky here. Welcome to another new video on my YouTube channel. Today is a rainy day in Vancouver and I'm spending my uh, lunchtime at a cafe in downtown east side. So I ordered a cup of latte and a little breakfast wrap. So here's my simple setup, my gooseneck tripod attached to the edge of the table by the window. But for eating and drinking, I'm gonna sketch my cup of coffee in about seven minutes before the latte gets cold. Starting with the outline, the handle of the cup, the thickness of the handle, the thickness of the brim, and the liquid line, and the cute little fern shape on top. And quickly drawing these little bubbles and the swirl of cream here on top. And then quickly drawing the letters here on the body part of the cup, following the curve and the little dish. The thickness of the dish was very gentle hand pressure and the shallow part around the center. Now I'm drawing the outline of the half wrap and the other half underneath it, the 3D shape of this uh, cylindrical shape. And the uh, inside, the fillings, the eggs and the veggies so I just added the grill marks on the surface of that wrap, drawing this curve, very important to show the 3D shape of this half wrap. And then drawing super quickly and loosely of the fillings inside here, the eggs, more veggies, and the grill marks. Now I'm ready to paint watercolors. So just wetting these surfaces with clear water. And they always begin punching on the yellows first. So this is like a mix of cadmium yellow and a little bit of a, a lemon yellow. The surface of the coffee, the first layer is a mix of orange and a little bit of burnt sienna. Wet onto wet, some stronger burnt sienna containing less water to get some contrast. And also some of this leftover burnt sienna for the sausage pieces. Grabbing some fresh lime green wet onto wet with some viridian green for the spinach leaves. Now I'm adding this super diluted yellow ochre mixed with a little bit of leftover brown for the color of the tortilla wrap. So this is the same color but containing less water. Same for here to give the wrap pieces more three dimension, a very important decision. And now I'm ready to paint the grill marks. So it, these are just quick brushstrokes of uh, burnt sienna. Now it's time to move on to paint the little dish and the mug. So I like to mix my own gray with royal purple and um, cobalt blue. Dilute it with a lot of water to get this tint of gray. Second layer for the shaded area is a stronger gray containing less water. And also quick brushstrokes of different hand pressures and shapes to make these shaded areas look more interesting. Some final polish. The shadow underneath the cup with the same gray that I used before. And that's it. And here's the look of my finished sketch of my coffee and lunch. And my coffee is still warm after about seven minutes of sketching. And yeah, I like the temperature. I don't like burning hot coffee. So I like to spend a little time sketching it before drinking. Now I am sketching the, um, the girl sitting close to the other window. And I just switched my seat to the table uh, in the middle of the cafe and it's a little shaky. Yeah, so now it's actually real time sketching. I just sketched her, her ponytail, the shape of her head, her hoodie, her elbow bending and holding her phone, the outline of her long winter jacket. I just love tracing out these curves and the pocket area of her jacket. And now adding these uh, wrinkles on her jacket. Now I'm drawing the long legs of the stool that she's sitting on and shading these legs with solid black ink. And one of her legs bending, her shoe. It's a little challenging but fun to draw uh, people sitting on 
tall stools and her other leg. The bracket in the middle on the bottom of the seat of the stool and the other leg in the far corner. So stools and chairs, they're all rectangular prisms or box shapes with legs and brackets wrapping up the 3D shape. Now I'm drawing the other stool. It's a little smaller and looking shorter because it's more further away from me. It's getting a little foreshortened. Yeah, and that's it. Now it's time to move on to the object around her. I'm drawing the lamp hood right above her head, the wire holding the lamp, and the little base. Now I'm ready to connect uh, the lamp area with a ceiling line and these blocks of shapes of, of the wall there in the back. So these sections of, of the wall is not exactly in the same proportion as in real life or at the photo. I'm trying to um, actually uh, change the proportion by squishing in the shape a little bit so it fits really nicely on this square page. Now I'm starting to draw the shapes of the leaves of these house plants around the counter area. The name of this cafe is Cafe Eden. So it's really nice to have these large leafy plants to spice up the atmosphere here. So the interior of this cafe would look really bland without any leafy greens because the walls and ceilings are just like white. Okay, I'm just really having fun connecting these leaves together. Cluster after cluster. Now I'm drawing the edge of the counter over here. This is actually the self-serving area of cream and sugar and other stuff. And these blocks of the cupboard. Now I'm ready to add more leaves behind this little counter here. That's a cute little leaf. And these shapes and more leafy plants in front of the counter here. And I'm really enjoying drawing these shapes of the leaves. And moving on to draw these abstract kind of geometrical shapes of the napkin box and other containers. Adding accentuation with solid black ink to separate these little objects even better and also to suggest shade or, add, or a dark plastic. Yeah, and final bits of details here. Now I'm taking about 10 seconds to visualize inside my head of the uh, uh, relationship between this counter area and the object behind the um, special machine. So the height of this special machine is about the same height as the counter, including uh, this area holding the uh, sanitized cups and mugs. And now I'm starting to connect the next lamp, which is just a little bit higher than the um, special machine. It's three dimensional. And I want to show the luminosity by just doing some rays around it and the wire holding it, the base attached to the ceiling. And then I am gradually drawing the front part of the special machine with the little pipes and the vessels. And now the barista is close by the special machine making a cup of latte for a customer drawing the counter edge and the paper cup. Starting with a bun, the shape of the hair, the ear. She's Asian, so just coloring in her hair with solid black ink, the forehead, the nose, and the relaxed facial expression. She's using one dot to show the eye. All right, so here's her face. Now I'm drawing her neck area, her arm, her elbow, holding the jar of milk. And her other arm and elbow, her back, because people are always moving around. Sometimes it could be uh, kind of tricky to draw 
the body. So yeah, so I think I captured her gesture. Now I'm drawing the containers against the wall behind her, like those coffee and other condiments storage. And following the rule of perspective, this lamp is closer to me, so it seems higher here in the space. And the light bulb in there, the brim, and the luminosity using really cute little dots around the hood. Adding final bits of details for the counter. And now I am moving back to the middle part of the sketch to add some more leafy greens of various shapes. So here I am really having fun connecting all of these leaves together, recognizing the differences between each cluster. And a couple more behind. So I'm just drawing very spontaneously without worrying about uh, missing some pieces of leaves. So I'm trying my best to capture as many as I can. Now it's time to finish drawing the sections of the wall area there in the back. And yeah, now moving on to this part is where the menu board begins. Just part of it. When we're sketching a scenery, we don't have to include every single object perfectly on our page. And just using quick little scribbles to show the many items. And moving on to this section of the wall to draw the brick pattern. Always you know, doing it quickly with the horizontal lines and then these short vertical lines. And some more tiles on the right hand side. And that's it for that part of the sketch. Now moving on to the window area to finish drawing the window frame, uh, the table edge. There's another row of small lamps around here. Starting to add more horizontal lines for the tiles. And then just copying the poem there on the wall. Yeah, it's a very nice poem about uh, the Garden of Eden. Yeah, so it's actually a verse from the Bible, I think. And then writing down the name of the cafe, the day and the date. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I use watercolors to make this seemingly bland interior more lively and interesting to look at. I just wetted the wall area with clear water and putting on this diluted lemon yellow to suggest the luminosity of this interior lighting condition and same for the floor as well. Yeah, and same for the ceiling. The whole space is being illuminated by so many lamps. And then same for the lamp hood around the light bulb area, I punched on a bit of a cadmium yellow. Now it's time to put on these fresh greens. These are lime green mixed with a little bit of lemon yellow. Now to make these leaves look more lively, I am doing wet onto wet another layer of viridian green partially on each of these leaves. So these leaves are now shining with a bit of contrast of a lighter green and a darker shade of green. And now I'm just using some leftover dark brown to suggest the, uh, the old heritage building outside the window and leftover gray for the street out there to keep that very simple and abstract. And grabbing some burnt sienna mixed with a little bit of blue. So it's a sepia color to paint this self-serving counter area. And mixing my own bluish gray with um, cobalt blue and a little bit of royal purple, preserving some areas on the espresso machine to show the shine of the metallic surface. And I just mix my own turquoise and violet color to paint the outfit of the barista. Skin color is um, leftover brown with orange diluted with a lot of water. Now it's time to show the contrast, the dramatic lighting condition on the walls 
So I again I mix my own blue and purplish gray with uh, cobalt blue and royal purple, diluted with more or less water to create different levels of purplish or bluish grays. And at the same time, not to overpaint, the middle part of this wall is bright yellow. Yeah, so the tint of the lamps are projected onto the middle part of these walls mostly. And keep using my own uh, leftover gray to paint the rest of the shaded areas on the wall. And the leftover purple for that building outside the window and for the lamp hood as well. So these uh, light bulbs and the inner part of the lamp hood looks really bright with a contrast on the outside of the lamp hoods. So overall, the color scheme for this cafe interior is very simple. Uh, mostly just yellows and then these uh, grayish blues and grayish purples. The greens in the middle, it really spice up the whole scenery and also the brown of the menu frame. And now around the last stage of this sketch, keep using more uh, grays to paint the pants and the jacket of this lady sitting by the window. And sometimes I do use black to paint, uh, you know, some objects or people's outfits because there's actually a lot of uh, uh, different kind of grays already. Black could be looking stronger. And some final polish. That's very much it for this cafe sketch. Just adding some final retouches here. Thank you so much for watching this video everyone. If you like it, please click like and leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. I try to update my channel with two new videos every week. Have a great day everyone. Bye!